bit of a slower start today i'm not gonna lie oh my god it's so bright when i come over here oh okay let me just sit down for a sec okay so i'm off to a bit of a slower start this morning because not gonna lie i had a horrible horrible night i felt so sick i had the worst cramps i couldn't sleep for my life i tried everything i like <laughs> was like overdosing on melatonin i like i did everything that i usually do whenever i can't sleep to try to get more comfortable and i don't even because i wasn't even checking the time because i didn't want to freak myself out so i don't even know what time i fell asleep but like i swear i blinked and it was 7 a.m and i kind of let myself sleep in until i like, ate something and then i just ran around the house and try to get ready as quick as possible. And I'm trying to also get the house together. It's still like, you can see the background's like still kind of a mess, but um, my friend's coming tomorrow. So I need to get the house together. And yeah, one thing I wanna talk about really quick is probably the only thing that'll be prominent in this vlog. I got in a couple of dresses, try on dresses specifically from Azazi. If you're engaged, you've probably seen that site like pop up. It's like a more affordable option for bridesmaids dresses and wedding dresses and everything. And everything is custom made still, or like or everything is made to order and you can do custom sizing and whatever, but it's just like a way, way, way more affordable price point and it's a lot more like sustainable um, technically. Long story short, like a little bit of background for what my situation has been. Um, my wedding is in September next year, so I have nine-ish, ten-ish months, whatever, and I have been to one, like, proper traditional bridal appointment. I went to a bridal store here in Tampa. I didn't put a ton of thought into where I went. I just kind of, like, looked up some designers that I knew I was interested in and, like, looked to see what was near me that carried it, and I saw this place because it's actually really close to a um cycling studio that i go to so i was familiar with that i was like whatever i'll go there so i went to that one like tr like try on appointment whatever um and i tried on about seven dresses and they ranged in cost a thousand dollars to like three thousand dollars like i tried on like a broad range and i kind of got a better idea of what silhouette i liked and like what style i was going for but i wasn't thrilled with anything for like what the prices were so moral of the story is that i didn't think that they had like a very broad selection and i wanted to still try on a couple of different types of dresses like i wanted to try on a long sleeve dress because i did, didn't really get to try on a long sleeve dress during that appointment i mean i did but i hated it so like i feel like it didn't count like it wasn't flattering at all anyway i wanted to just try on types of dresses and get a better idea of like what i'm looking for so azazi has this thing where you can pay 15 dollars and try on a dress they'll send you a dress send you the shipping label to send it back and you just get to try it on in the comfort of your own home which like i really appreciate and i just didn't like i didn't like the feeling of being like on display like if you know me i am not a the dishwasher is running in the background if you can hear it but i am not a like oh i want all the attention on me and like live for that like i am just not that, like I'm not shy but I just I don't feel super comfortable in those situations so long story short I have some dresses to try on and I want to show them to you I've already tried them on but and I don't like none of them are like the one I'm getting or anything I that's still kind of up in the air but I think it would just be fun to show you and I kind of wanted to remember the dresses that I didn't like just as much like I just want to remember the process because it is still really fun and this is like you know once in a lifetime <laughs> time of your life to I don't know be like unapologetically girly and feminine and you know I don't know so yeah I will insert clips of me trying on the dresses so this one is actually probably my favorite out of the three that I ordered to try on it is called the hold on 
It is called the Grayson dress and the color, it had a couple different colors. I got the diamond white and nude underneath. So that's why the, they have a couple of different options for the colors. You could do white on white, white on nude or white on like a more lighter color beige. Um, but yeah, I love the way that this one fits. This one probably fits me the best, although I still need to go down probably a size or two. But as far as like the way that it fits my proportions, I really like it. Um, Azazi is really nice too because they actually do an option for custom sizing. So you can put in your custom measurements if you want. I am still like gonna be changing size a little bit probably, um, getting closer to the wedding since I still have a lot of time. So if I do buy a dress from them, I probably won't do that option. I'll just get it and get it tailored myself. But it's a good option, especially if you're doing like buying the dress closer to your actual date. Just for reference, I wanted to size up a couple sizes just to make sure I could fit into everything for this um, because that's kind of what they did at the bridal boutique. Like everything was like a little bit big and they kind of like clipped it. So I got this in, I ordered it in a wedding dress size 10 and I, for reference, am a true size six as far as like my bust and my waist. And honestly my hips too. The only thing that's like gets me in trouble sometimes is my butt in dresses um, because yeah, anyways. So this one I love and I wanna kind of go up on the staircase a little bit to show you the train because the train is really pretty. So here's a look at the length of this. And then as far as like the details, I really like how it has like the mesh in between. And obviously if this fit better, everything would be like a little bit more supported and like cinch me in a little bit better at the waist. But I also really like the like see-through details on the sides and then the back looks like this super pretty um overall this was yeah definitely my favorite dress like out of these three but i still don't think that it quite fits the vibe of my ceremony and my just my wedding in general like my venue all that i don't necessarily think it fits the vibe but i still do think it's very very pretty and very comfortable, very lightweight. That was another big thing that I didn't like about a lot of the dresses that I tried on in store is that a lot of them felt so heavy, itchy, I didn't feel comfortable. And yeah, especially paying like a thousand, two thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars sometimes for a dress, I didn't want it to feel uncomfortable at all. And this one is very, very comfy. So I think that this is a great option just in general. I totally forgot to mention that this one comes with this cape, like for free with I don't even know how you're supposed to really attach this, but I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just like attaching it to the lace because I don't know how it's supposed to go. But yeah, it comes with this like included, which I feel like if this is your vibe, I feel like a little fairy princess with this on actually. Let me go back up here so you can see. Oh my God, it's like very long too. But how cute and fun is this? Especially for it to come included, I feel like how fun so you have like the option to wear it or not it would be really cute just to even take pictures with this on okay so here is the sorry i need to find my feet here is the second dress that i got to try on this one's called the yoki and like i said before i really wanted to try something with long sleeves just because a lot of the kind of like dress inspo that i had pulled had long sleeves and i just think it's like very elegant the things that i was picturing was more like off the shoulder and long sleeve but i didn't really see anything like that at least for try on it. There might be options on their site like that, but nothing that I could actually have here to try on. So I wanted to try this just to like catch the vibe. And don't get me wrong, I like think it's very, very pretty. It just feels a little matronly for me, you know? And some of that obviously has to do with it not fitting. Like it's still everything, keep in mind, everything is like a size or two up from what I am right now. So like picture this like a little bit more fitted throughout here. I feel like that could really, really help. But for my <laughs> aesthetic, I don't really love it. I also didn't realize that it has like actual little, there's not a lot of them, but there are sequins on the dress. So like, let me see if I can like even show you up close, but yeah, just not necessarily my vibe. The train is also, has this like little flip up at the end. Let me see, let me go up here. So yeah, you can see that the train has this little like edge that has like structure to it. 
So it's just a little bit more, I don't know, it's like bouncy. And I don't, yeah, I don't love. So this one was a bit of a dud for me. Um, but it's good because I kind of got the long sleeve vibe out of my system by being able to try this on. So yeah, also it does have that like itchiness to it that just makes it like not that comfortable. Another feature that I really wanted in my dress is that I want the buttons to go all the way down. And also I can't actually zip it up all the way myself or else I won't be able to get out of it. So anyways, so these buttons don't go all the way down. I like for them to go all the way down the skirt. So that's another kind of like feature for me that made this like not exactly what I want, but the girl at the shop told me that that's an easy thing to add if you want to get your seamstress to add it or your tailor or whatever. Didn't love this one, especially for the price. This was one of the most expensive ones out of the bunch. So yeah. So this is the last dress that I have to try on. So this one is called the Arbor. Sorry, I'm trying to hold the back so it's like more fitted. Um, this one's called the Arbor dress. And this one I actually really, really love. I think that it's very, once again, like a very flattering like V-neck uh, neckline that I have been straying away from. So I wanted to try it. I don't think it's like, I need to have this, but it is very flattering. And I really did like the detail on this one. I think that it looks like super, high quality super nice this dress is so comfortable it's kind of crazy the only part of the design that i don't like is this like grid that they have in the waist i just don't love i don't know why it like stuck out to me i just feel like it doesn't fit with the rest of the dress but i love the material it is so comfy i love the length of the train i think it's perfect um and yeah like absolutely no complaints about this one other than that it's just not like i didn't try it on look at myself and be like <gasps> You know, <laughs> like it wasn't like that type of a moment. So it's definitely not the one for me, which is obviously why I feel comfortable showing it. Another cool feature, like the little like side cutout with the mesh. And then let me let go of the back. This is what the back looks like. Um, once again, I would love for the buttons to go all the way down. And keep in mind, all this extra fabric wouldn't be here. So it would be like really fitted. Um, also, I don't know whose hips this dress is made for like uh no <laughs> like i have pretty big hips i don't know who whose booty is fitting in this one but honestly if you have a if you have a nice like wide set of hips like in our a beautiful stunning <laughs> hourglass like that this would be a great dress but yeah not really working for me i do love the like baroque style embroidery yeah really like that and let me show you the length of the train a little bit better it's so hard to show it right Yeah, it's really hard to show. Keep in mind these dresses are wrinkly because they've been, yeah, they've been in a bag. Am I gonna be struggling like this my wedding day to get my train to like go the right way? I certainly hope not. I'm gonna have to have my coordinator like literally helping me as I walk out. Anyway, you, you get the picture, you get the idea. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Really, really like it. Um, I forget the prices on these. I'll probably include the prices like on the screen or below or something so that you get an idea of what these cost versus like the traditional bridal stores. This definitely helped my fix of being able to like try on a couple of different styles um, and just like get a better idea of what I want and everything. So I feel definitely more confident making my decision now. And I just think it's fun, you know, like even if you're not, this would be like something I, like I wouldn't do, but it would be really fun just even if you're not engaged to just try on a bunch of different wedding dresses just to like start getting an idea because you really have no idea until you put them on and see what you like and don't like and whatnot. So anyways, this is the last one. Um, let me know which one is your favorite. Um, I My favorite was the first one just because I felt very comfortable in it. I felt like it was very flattering. I also like this one and they're very similar silhouettes so i can see why i definitely like the fabric of this one better instead of the full lace that middle one it was just not it but yeah let me know what you think and thanks another thing that's really cool and sorry i'm just hiding my address up here but um yeah they create a fedex label for you so that way you literally just have to put all the dresses back into the garment bags and back in the box slap this on it and drop it off with fedex I'm low-key gonna try to see if I can like drop it off with a FedEx man without having to actually go there and like just find one in the neighborhood. Um, but I feel like that's just really convenient.
So for like 10 cents or something, they send you a tape measure with the dresses. So that way, if you are about to order your actual dress, you can take your legit measure measurements, which I have not been able to find mine um, anywhere since the move. So really nice to be able to have this, especially even just for regular online shopping. Yesterday, you saw me unbox all of those new shoes that I ordered from Black Friday. And I kind of always have a deal with myself whenever I buy new stuff, I have to get rid of stuff. So I'm going to be getting rid of these three pairs of shoes. I think that they're all, they're all either a seven or a seven and a half. But if anyone wants them, literally let me know, I'll send them to you um, before I just kind of like bring them to Play-Dohs or put them on Poshmark or whatever. So like if a friend wants them, let me know. They should, I think that these, yeah, these are seven and a half. These are a seven, which these are so cute. I just like, I don't know. They're like trendy and cute. And I thought that they would be something I would wear, but I just haven't worn them. And then these are a, these are just from Forever 21. These are a seven, um, but yeah, they're cute. But I just have like so many other black heels that I prefer over this. So they're literally, I haven't worn a single one of these out of the house. So if you want them, let me know. I just ordered Chick-fil-A on DoorDash. And I feel like semi-guilty about it, but also I don't because it's the first day of my period. And I didn't even get fries. I just got spicy tenders and a kale crunch salad as my side. So yeah, so I'm waiting for that to come. I am trying to figure out, I got a tripod. I'm trying to figure out how I want to use it because it's not that easy to like swivel and stuff, but whatever. Um, okay, so I just wrapped up my box, um, my Azazi try-ons I need to bring to FedEx. I'm going to try to see if I can just like flag down the FedEx man <laughs> in the neighborhood because usually one comes, I missed the 11, but usually they come at like three. So if I can't get them, then I'll just drop it off. Cause I want, I want all of my little errands to be done before the weekend. And then I've been running a few loads of laundry. Like this is the most boring day, truly. I need to clean all the bathrooms. Like I just need to get the house together. I have been trying to clear out the guest room a little bit more cause we're just like storing some stuff in there. Cause it's kind of like the catch all room. So we've been storing stuff in there that I want to clear out just so that way it's nice and clean for Anna Mariah. I'm gonna set out their towels and everything, just do a bunch of house stuff. I'm trying to just like get a bunch of stuff done, clean up this house, get ready for guests. And yeah, and then I'll show you my Chick-fil-A when it gets here, cause I'm actually so excited. I haven't had it since we drove to the Outer Banks. I think it was the last time we had Chick. Wait, I'm so excited. Today just got more exciting because I got my ASOS package, baby. Yes. I'm excited about that one. Um, I might wait until, well, I have time. Probably won't have time to do it tomorrow. I guess I'll do a little try on later today. Do another try on. Um, but I'm gonna need to eat this first before I even worry about the package. I just got some spicy tenders, the kale crunch salad, obviously. One packet of Polynesian because this is my kryptonite. Like I will eat three of these. And I had to spend 45 extra cents to get the dash pass like discount or whatever. So I got a large Coke Zero. Hmm. Okay, so I'm excited about this package from ASOS because I'm supposed to be going out tonight and I was stressing about what I was gonna wear and I might be able to get away with something that's in this package. So first thing, I got two little like midi slip type of skirts. Um, this black one, which you can't really see. Let me go over here in front of the white. You can't really see either. But anyways, so it's just a very standard. I thought that this was gonna have a zipper in the side, but it's just like a pull on, which I don't really like that because I had to, I couldn't pull this up over my hips. So I had to put it over my head and I don't really like that, but I like to step into things, but I still think it's really cute and like versatile. It would be cute with like a cute heel. Yeah, yeah, definitely a keeper. Got this on Black Friday. I forget how much I made. I paid for it. Probably like 16, $20, I don't know. Okay, so this one I actually like better because it does have a little zipper on the side, but it's, this one's a little big in the waist, but it fits everywhere else really good. And I think it's just like super fun, especially for Florida or like vacation or whatever. I think it's really cute. 
So maybe I could take it in just that like one inch myself and make it work. I mean, I could wear it like this, honestly. And just like, maybe like if I lose a little bit of weight, it'll like just sit a little lower would be kind of cute because my hips won't really change, you know? Um, but yeah, I like it. I think it's really cute and fun. I also got this little pair of like lightweight cargo slash parachute pants in like this like slate gray bluish color. Um, and I ordered a size up so they would be like kind of looser. And my only issue with them is that they're a little long, which I really just need to find somewhere that has like petite a petite version of this because I just hate when things are long because it makes me look even shorter than I actually am so yeah I still like these like I'll wear them but they're not like as much of a moment as I thought they could be um I do like how the bottoms have little ties so you can do like have them loose or you can tie them tight like I have them now which I feel like I kind of have to do unless I wear a heel and they kind of go over the heel that would be cute actually like most excited about this shirt dress but it's just a little I, I don't know it's just not giving what I thought it was gonna give and it's a little tight across my chest but my boobs will probably go down in the next week or so so I can try it on again and I put on a tall boot just to kind of try to get the full effect and I don't know it's just a little short too I don't know like this is my regular size but maybe it's just I need to size up in it because this is definitely very fitted through here, which I like. But I also feel like it's just tight here. And I could also just like not wear, I could wear like a more like low profile bra with it or something. Um, but yeah, I really like this for like fall in Florida type of a vibe. Like it feels like a little bit more fallish. And also like forgive, obviously it's really wrinkly right now. Um, like it feels a little bit more fallish, but it's really lightweight. Um, I like the way that's constructed and everything. Like I said, it just feels really tight across my chest so that's like kind of not ruining it for me but I need to like see what I can do you know okay so we're just kind of finished up in here these cords are literally the death of me so just don't worry about it but I have their little stuff over here so I put their bridesmaid proposal boxes here so that way I basically pick them up from the airport tomorrow and then we'll come straight in and then have them drop their stuff off, obviously. And then, like, I want to sit them down and have them open these. So hopefully I can get that on camera. But I have those sitting there. And then I have just their towels and stuff and an extra blanket here. And then washcloth. And I just have different colors because so that, like, each person knows which one's theirs throughout the weekend. Um, bed looks... I don't know. I'm, like, so over this bed spread. But it's just not, like, a super big priority to get a new one for the guest bed. Um, and we can't like reuse stuff from our bed on this one because we have a king and this is a queen. So we're kind of stuck with this. But I don't know. I guess the job done, obviously. Oh my God, you guys. It is 82 degrees. It is piping, piping hot today. Okay, so I need to go to UPS and I need to go to FedEx. So I have official... Uh, going out plans tonight we're doing dinner at eight in st pete and then we're doing first friday um because it's first friday of december it's december 2nd that's why i kind of did my hair this morning so i had something to work with and i could get ready more quickly this evening because it's going to be like a 30 minute drive out there and everything so i need to be ready to go oh one other fun thing is i got my spotify wrapped and my number one i'll do everything my top genres, I'll, maybe I'll put them on the screen, that'll be fun. Um, my top genres are rap, contemporary country, trap queen, okay, pop, and then trap Latino. All right, that makes sense. Your morning started with confident energy heartache. Sure, that actually makes sense. Um, you seize the day with funny cottage core fun. Is that, I mean, I think they're just talking about Taylor Swift. Like, I don't listen to anything that's cottage core. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. And then you embrace, these things don't mean anything. You embrace the night with poetic, passionate energy. Okay, whatever. My top song here, let's get into the, the data, if you will. The top song that I played was Ojitos Lindos by Bad Bunny. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely that's definitely my favorite song okay my top songs all together that was number one number two is blick blick 
with Coyla Ray and Nicki Minaj. I love that song. Megan's Piano by Megan Thee Stallion, obviously. Bustin', that's my number four. Um, interesting. But Bustin' by Nicki Minaj and Lil Baby. And then my number five song is Vegas, like Doja Cat, like that from the Elvis soundtrack. I don't... I feel like that's a... What's it called? <laughs> What's the an outlier? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's probably... Like, my top four songs have all, probably been played X amount of times. And that one probably, like, just made the cut, you know? So, that's kind of weird. My top artist was Taylor Swift, which I'm just shocked. I feel like compared to other people that love Taylor Swift, I, like, I don't even love her. Like, I'm not that big of a stan. I definitely listen to Whatchamacallit a lot over the past couple weeks. Uh, Midnight's, I definitely listened to it a lot over the past couple weeks, so that probably got it, like, over the hump. But I feel like I didn't listen to her this mu that much this year, last year maybe, because I loved Evermore. But, uh, I don't know. And then my top five artists were, uh, obviously, like, staying in the same theme. <laughs> Taylor Swift was number one. Bad Bunny was number two. Big Bia was number three. Megan Thee Stallion was four and Nicki Minaj was five and I feel like she's just five because she hasn't really put out that much music she's just been doing a lot of like features and stuff but yeah I'm pretty happy with that and then my like personality thing that I got was the early adopter it says you've got your finger on the pulse of new music always seeking out the next hot thing if a song is trending you're on it and then my little personality um acronym thing is ENVC so it's exploration newness variety and commonality so I don't really know what that's supposed to mean but it's cute I just love that they do this I love it as like a the way that they always have like different designs and everything each year I just think it's really fun very cute I'm sure that some designers lost their minds doing this this year but so here I love this one especially I actually made I like was interviewing for a job at some point and we had we had to explain like our philosophy when it came to management and I did something kind of like this where I like created like a solar system of like what the priorities I thought were and like I was trying to get across that some things might take up more time or like be bigger but they're not as like close or like as basically like I made the planets in like order like what my priorities are within management but then like the size of the planets kind of represented like how much time they take up you know what I mean like because there's the day-to-day -day things that take up a lot of time but might not be as important as I don't know it was like this whole metaphor and they ate it up but I didn't end up getting that job offer but it's completely fine because I would have been miserable but so like I every t anytime something like that happens I'm just like things happen for a reason I never really trip or worry over opportunities that I didn't get or opportunities I missed or anything like that I just believe that I am where I'm supposed to be and I truly would have been miserable if I took that job so I'm totally okay with it just finished my makeup I'm about to start just touching up my hair real quick it shouldn't be that bad and then I'll show you my outfit Actually, I might just leave my hair because I want it to be loose anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to leave it. Why waste the time? Here's the outfit currently. So I have on those little Steve Madden clunkers. Um, and then these are the cargo pants or parachute pants, whatever you want to call them from ASOS. And then I have on this old top. It's from like, I don't even remember where this is from. But I'm thinking I'm going to change my top. This is like one of those crossover things. I'm thinking I'm gonna change my top to something that takes up a little less like visual interest. You know what I'm saying? Because like I feel like the, I want to focus on the pants more rather than my shirt. And I think like since I'm wearing my hair down because it's clean for once, so like I kind of have to. Um, I just feel like it doesn't look that great with my hair down since my hair is so dark. So I think I'm gonna put on a more basic black top real quick. Okay, change tops into just this uh, like square neck free people one that I showed. <laughs> in one of these vlogs, I don't know, for my Black Friday. Not the streak, I swear I clean this mirror. All right, like, let's just take a moment. I swear I clean it. I don't know what it is, but it's so hard to keep looking right. So now there's like a big streak, like right where I put my head, whatever. <laughs> um, I also put on a little necklace. Do I need to blend this more? 
Mm, it should be fine. Um, I also put on a little necklace now that my like neck is mount more open. Um, so there's what that looks like. And then I grabbed this little bag. I thrifted this bag a long time ago. It's a little Kate Spade little vintage moment. No idea what year it's from or anything, but I found it literally for like $5 somewhere, but I think it like fits the shoe vibe and everything. And I love a shoulder bag when we go out um, so that it feels like it's not, you know, distracting from my outfit, you know, like not a crossbody. Like I like a shoulder moment. So it's like away, but yeah, so that's the vibe. What do we think? Cute. I love the like big on bottom, you know, small, small top, little big bottoms vibe. I hope it never, <laughs> it probably already is that style. I don't care though. I will fix the streak in the mirror. Don't worry about it. Make a little cocktail with some tequila agave and then just a little bit of um lime lacroix and actually i have some regular lime juice the key lime juice is way better but this is what i have right now boo 